I'm Wilbur, owner and proprietor of the Count's Arms. We make beds and food available to guests. Can I help you? Yes. The bed sounds good. There's a wonderful room available. It's the best I have. And you can use it for the night for a mere 25 gold. Interested? It's pretty steep, but I can afford it. Excellent. It's up the stairs there, and then directly across the hallway. Center room, wonderful view of the city, sleep well. Wonderful view of the city. I bet he's lying. I bet there's just some panes of glass. <laughs> what do you know about the Anvil Jack Waltak? The prophet speaks true. This is the start of something terrible. I can feel it in my bones. Okay, that means there's a little more uh, pressing matter. Bye, Wilbur. Hmm. It's Jason Sextius, singer, composer, and storyteller extraordinaire. Glad to meet you. School must have been hard with a name like that, dude. It's unbelievable. Right in the center of the city, nobody saw anything. Makes you wonder about the competence of the guard, if you ask me. Yeah, it did me as well. Goodbye. I'm not going to ask about rumors yet because I guess the rumor right now. Please, go ahead. I saw Rufrius Venetius knock a man down with one punch. Hmm. I wish he'd take Um, probably a lucky blow. All right, we're going to go and check out this chapel attack. I've got, you know, I've got, I've got, I've got my bed full at night. All the while taking in the sights and sounds, mostly sights, it has to be said, of uh, improved Dunvil. Trees. Hello there. Hello there. Well, <clears throat> there's the prophet ranting and raving, but we're going to check this out for ourselves. Ugh. Pretty horrific. Pretty terrible. At least three dead bodies in here. And Dibella has been truly desecrated. For some reason the dead bodies and the blood has been left exactly as it was, even though we heard about this attack. Oh, I don't know, two weeks ago maybe? But yeah, the place is wrecked. I'm just going to play pray at this temple maybe? Nope, not allowed. Because, yeah, she's in, in a pool of her own blood and nobody's bothered to clean it up. Still, I love how they've got like the smoke, you know, swirling around in the uh, ceiling there. Maybe you shouldn't turn the camera as I look at it though. <laughs> okay, well, I've seen it, and I'm suitably horrified enough to back slowly out. Alright, let's go and chat to this prophet. Look at the faces of the dead! This is your future! Evil has returned! And the nine need a champion! He's also a ventriloquist. Oh my! To what do I owe this honor? I am but a humble prophet! What business do you have with me? 
Yeah, what the hell's with the chapel, dude? Not really speaking in character there. This is only the beginning. Umaril has returned, as foretold by Pelinal White Strength in his dying breath. Who's Umaril? Umaril the Unfather! The sorcerer king of the aliens! Who ruled over this land for long ages before the rise of men? He was cast down by Pelinal White Strip, but Umaru's spirit survived, and now he has returned to seek vengeance upon the gods. <laughs> that worked pretty well. Who was Peniel White Strip? Sorry, I've not really been Saint around. Pelinal, the divine crusader of legend, Alicia's companion when she overthrew the rule of the aliens 3,000 years ago. Pelinal, with the aid of the gods, fought the alien sorcerer King Umaril and slew him. But Umaril's spirit survived. And he has now returned. So, who attacked the chapel? Do you understand nothing? The blood speaks. I can read the ancient runes if you cannot. Aswibala, Umarale, El Nada Rakuvar. In the alien time. By the eternal power of Umaril, the mortal gods shall be cast down. A curse upon Umaril's ancient foes and a threat. So how do we stop him? Alas, Umaril cannot be stopped. Oh dear. Not without the aid of the gods, not without the Crusader's relics. And what be? Without a champion, oh. <laughs> the gods are powerless to act. But who among us is worthy to wield the divine crusader's weaponry? Uh, hmm. Uh, this certainly seems something that uh, calls to Variax, and since no one else is around. And we're on a bit of a roll here. I will quest for the relics. You would quest <laughs> for the holy panoply of Pelinal White Strike? The legendary relics that have been sought by mighty warriors throughout the ages? Are you a worthy knight? Well. Um. Despite being the hero of Kavach, I am going to say I have no claim to fame, which technically is wrong since I am the hero of Kavach. But I know that I'm going to have to be humble, so I shall be humble and say no, I have no claim to fame. A humble heart is a good starting point. The gods will decide if you are worthy to seek the relics. How can I find the relics? The gods grant insight to those they deem worthy. Why and how they act is not predictable. What I can tell you is that, traditionally, knights who wish to quest for the relics would walk the pilgrim's way, travel to the bay shrines of the nine gods, pray to each of the gods in turn, and ask their favor upon your quest. If the gods deem you worthy, you will be granted a sign. Go forth with the nine's blessings. All right. I'm not going to ask any questions. I just have... I've just done it. 